All right, YouTube, once again, it's Kennar Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. We're talking Auburn football. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also share this video to as many media outlets as possible. Um, Auburn's got some good things going on. Now, a lot of you guys, let's rewind this thing all the way back to um, the game after, I mean, the uh, time after the Mississippi State game where a lot of folks were thinking, well, maybe Gus Malzahn will get one more chance. But, nope. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger. <coughs> War Eagle. Auburn now on board is Brian Harson, And as many of you all can see, that there has been a different level of methodology in how Brian Harson seeks to run this program. One of the things that we've noted is that Brian Harson has done an, a, a different job of recruiting locally. If you look at the current recruiting class, a lot of those guys are from the state of Alabama. Because if we look at the past regime with Gus Malzahn, you had good guys, uh, you know, guys from Auburn High School going to Florida. Can't think of his name right now. Then you had a guy from Lynette, who is the high school in question tonight. Uh, I think Trick Beasy Bridges went to Oregon, actually. And then we think, like, how does a guy from right down the road, People either commute from Auburn to Lynette to work or from Lynette to Auburn to work or from Lynette and Auburn to work at the Kia plant in LaGrange. And this guy goes all the way up to Oregon to play football. Don't get it. Also, you had a kid out of real town, Alabama, which is a crazy rural town <coughs> in between Dadeville and Auburn. He went to South Carolina and I think this is a new day for the Tigers. I think this is a really, really new day um, for the Tigers as Auburn is starting to get a little bit, uh, uh, some more recruits locally as Caden Story. A .91 recruit out of Lynette, Alabama. Right now, he's the number one recruit in the current 2022 recruiting class for the Auburn Tigers as a defensive lineman right down the road from Auburn. He's a good football player. Look at the videos. I mean, you see the, you see the highlights. This is a really good football player. And... These are football players that in times past that Auburn just honestly has missed out on. For number one, here's my honest opinion. I think the perception was, look, we know, we know what they, they got going on over there, Auburn under Gus Malzahn. And we're trying to pr protect our perception and we want to protect you in your future Auburn might not be the best place to go but now it's it's a little different the thing I like about this recruit is it's in the latter stages of the recruiting game his recruiting Caden story his recruiting came down to UCF, Auburn, and this is the later time. Because usually if a kid recruits to you, to you early, there's a chance he might flip. There's still a chance this kid might flip. I, and he's a great football player. So there, there are a lot of football teams that are going to really be chirping for this guy. But the fact that he's committed to a brand new regime, a brand new program, 
says a lot about where Auburn is headed with this recruiting thing. I want you guys to stay tuned as well. Fall camp is happening this week. A lot of great things coming out. We're going to talk about some positions. We're going to talk about some trap games for the Tigers. We're going to also talk about, you know, some things as it relate to the future of the Tigers. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.